What is up dudes and lady dudes? Welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today we have a little bit of interesting news. Nothing crazy, but we do have a name for a new core set coming, um, I guess in April? April 2021 for the OCG. This is confirmed for April 17th for uh, the OCG after Lightning Overdrive, of course. Um, which we don't even have like half the cards revealed yet for that set. So still excited to f like see what else comes out of there. Um, but I guess getting started, getting the information out that this is going to be the next set. It's called Dawn of Majesty. It's a really interesting name. Um, you know, what I've been finding lately is that there are... I feel like every time we have a set as far as like deck build packs and, and even core sets, they throw a name out there and the, no the name a lot of the time does have like stuff to do with like the set like rise of the duelist like obviously kind of we i thought alluded to yugi moto like the quintessential like duel like Yu-Gi-Oh character and then it had guy the fierce knight supporting it so i was like okay that's a classic yugi card like I, I feel that rise of the duelist cool um and and other things i don't know i've talked about it before there's plenty i could go into but that's the first one that came off the top of my head so this is interesting dawn of majesty um very very interesting majesty to me though as a as a word just you know generically kind of gives me a, a thoughts of like anything that's like kind of like a, a knights uh, kind of knights like holy knights kind of no, obviously not the, the new holy knight archetype we'll probably get that in a side set because uh the ocg is not going to get in the core set so we're not going to we'll probably won't get it there um but it does make me think of certain things. Maybe something like Satellar Knights could be a thing. A Dawn also, like kind of, um, you know, could allude to a light attribute uh, monster or archetype, I guess. Um, it also makes me think of like, hey, we just got Rise of the Duelist. They took something like Gaia the Fierce Knight, which has had support in the past, but never really been evolved into a real cohesive archetype. And it finally was there. What if Dawn of Majesty is like they take Jack's Knights, Queen Knight, and uh, and King's Knight and make them into like like I don't know, give them all a new version, right? They they need it to be honest, um, and then a whole archetype just based around those three. They've made weird cards that like they made a fusion for them. I think there's a link for them too. I don't even know if we actually got that in in the, in the TCG or not. I don't think he's good, but it's more of like a, a collector's card for if you like like you know the classic yugi cards um but that could be something cool i don't know i'm thinking about light swarms could be another thing they kind of fit that like dawn of majesty feel and i'm sure there are others that i just don't i can't think of off the top of my head but that's that's like as soon as i read dawn of majesty five minutes ago i was like hmm this 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 we've been getting random cards like supported that were old yugi cards um that king's knight queen's knight and jack's knight could be it and that would be really cool i mean design wise those are some of my favorite old cards design wise artwork wise just like phenomenal i love it i love it so much um but i don't know i mean that's literally all the information we have is when it's coming out in the ocg price and stuff but that doesn't really matter to us in the tcg um and the name so I don't know. I didn't want to make this video too long. I just want to make it a quick little sprinkle it to you. Here's the name. Here's a couple of my thoughts on what the name could potentially mean. We'll see in a couple of months uh, once we start getting reveals for the deck or for the for the set. And Konami seems to come out the gate with the reveals, right? Because like they just come swinging and like pretty much show you all what the set is about like immediately. Because I think in Rise of the Duels, like the first thing revealed was the Gaia stuff. Um, and like uh, I think Blazing Vortex, the first stuff revealed was like the Arm Dragon stuff, right? Um, which is pretty cool. Um, but we'll see. Obviously, I'll keep you up to date on that. I'm gonna end it off here though. Not there's not really much going on. There's only, there's only so much I could talk about. Just Dawn of Majesty. But I want to hear your thoughts down below. Let me know in the comment sections uh, down below. What are your thoughts on Dawn of Majesty? What does that ring in your ear? If you think there would be support or maybe a, uh, if they were to make something that's not an archetype into an archetype, what do you think that like rings in your head as Dawn of Majesty? What, what does that make you think of? So let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching as always, everybody. Um, I'll catch you next time. Peace.